Saying goodbye to 10 year old student Miranda Vargas. Loved ones lined up outside Our Lady of the Visitation Church Sunday afternoon in Paramus, New Jersey, to pray for her at an interface service before her funeral this morning at Morocco Memorial Chapel. She left us early on this earth, you know, she just started living, you know, in a sense, you know, and we miss her. Her uncle says it's an indescribable pain, especially hard for Miranda's twin sister, Madison. And her other sister's taking it very hard. The community also came together to honor 51 year old Jennifer Williamson, a teacher who was killed in the crash. Williamson and Vargas were on a class trip to Waterloo Village Thursday when a school bus driver missed an exit on Interstate 80 in Mount Olive and then tried to make an illegal U turn and was struck by a dump truck. Many attending the service are still recovering from their injuries. I got stuck under the chair, so a firefighter had to help me get out. I wanted to show respect to the family because of what they've been going through. I wanted to be here to support my friends because most of them are in the hospital. One is having brain surgery right now and is in a coma. Uh, she has a 30% chance of living. No new information has been released into the investigation since Friday. Families are still searching for answers. What they want and pray for is that the facts come out, the truth comes out, and of course they want justice for their daughter. If we are going to find an answer, we're going to have to do it together. And the private funeral service this morning begins at 9.30. There is a public service at 11.30. That's in Paramus, New Jersey. And then as well on Thursday, the funeral service for the teacher killed takes place. We're here in Clifton, New Jersey. Natalie Dudridge, CBS2 News.